We live in a world of diversity, a world of change. In this ever-changing world, we have been blessed to receive and partake in the many freedoms and opportunities that we, as Americans, have been given. But these freedoms did not come to you without a price. There are many out there that stand to fight and protect these gifts of ours with their lives every single day. They stand strong so that we must not fear. They give their lives so that we don't have to. They fight for you. So why don't you fight for them? They pay the ultimate sacrifice so that you may have a choice. But what do you do in turn? We all have these freedoms, yet many of us take these rights for granted. These men and women give us so much. They are the supreme example of giving because they give all that they have and nothing less for you and our country. The thing of the utmost importance, the thing that ties all of us together, is charity, and they show it. While these men and women are giving you everything, what are you doing for your fellow man? As one of the greatest presidents to ever serve our country once said, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. John F. Kennedy. If you wish to use your freedom for a true purpose, then use it for the most true purpose of all. Give to other people. Mosiah 2.17 says, And behold, I tell you these things, that ye may learn wisdom, that ye may learn that when ye are in the service of your fellow beings, ye are only in the service of your God. By giving what you can, and by serving others who are in need, to the best of your ability, you are expressing the true value of freedom. What does this freedom mean to you? Are you going to use it to sit on a couch and watch television? You very well could, because there are people fighting for you with that very same freedom, but they have chosen to use it to serve you. Bob Dylan once said, a hero is someone who understands the responsibility that comes with his freedom. We have the responsibility to practice our freedom and to value it, because not doing so would be as useless as having no freedom at all. Our armed forces also have the right to choose, and they made a choice. They chose to fight for you. Would you dare let something so meaningful, something that is so very precious, become worth nothing? The value of freedom is found within serving others. In our very own Declaration of Independence, it says, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Among these, I believe that one stands out, and that is the pursuit of happiness. I find that there is nothing in this world more joyful than using my freedoms to help other people. We all have these freedoms, but we sometimes choose not to practice them. If you could choose to help other people through acts of kindness every day, why wouldn't you? The people that fight for you, they are not only fighting for your freedoms, but they are exercising their own. Abraham Lincoln once said, America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we falter and lose our freedoms, it will be because we destroyed ourselves. This is true. Imagine if those men and women ceased to defend your freedoms. Imagine if they no longer chose to serve their country. Imagine if they decided to stop everything and falter. We would lose our freedoms. We would lose our everything. Because what is the point of a life where one can't decide for themselves? We are blessed to have these rights. And we are blessed to have those who fight for them. But most of all, we are blessed to have the capability to use these freedoms to help other people. Because without charity, our freedom would mean nothing.